everybody, my name is Jesse Showalter. Today we're going to do a real simple screencast on how to install ModX and get it up and running. So, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and go over to ModX.com and go to Get ModX and we can download the newest version, the traditional install uh, of ModX Revolution. As of this recording, it's August 2014. We're on 2.3.1 which is an awesome new release that they've uh, just come out with. While that's downloading, that's going pretty quick. Perfect, it's downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and just show that in the finder. And then we're gonna unpack it. There we go. And what we've done is we're gonna be doing all this today on our local server. Um, and so we're just gonna be mimicking this whole process that you would do on a live server. We're gonna be doing it here um, using MAMP Pro. So we're gonna take those uh, default files that MAMP Pro creates and what we've done is we've created um, the host and we've created a new um, a new database here on our uh, local host and I'm using SQL Pro to do that and now we're gonna just take all the files from this um, this download we're just gonna drag them in to our um, to our file alright and then we go to MAMP Pro uh, we're basically mimicking looking at it out on the web. And so we see an error because, hey, the site hasn't been set up yet. Uh, so now we're going to go through the process of setting up the site. Uh, if you want to read more about this, you can see it on the basic installation documentation. And we can see it. Here's, here it is on MAMP. And you can see all the differences or all the different steps you need to take. Uh, but we're just going to run through it real quick. So what we want to do is once we've uploaded all those files, we just want to go to setup. And we're going to move on to the installation process. We want a new installation and this is going to go ahead and set our file permissions and folder permissions correctly for us. We'll press next and we're going to put in all of our um, information. Again, I'm working on a local host. Yeah, we want UTF-8 and general CI. And there it is. So we're just going to put in our name, the test email, and a password to create our administrator. And we should see green lights across the board. If you don't see green lights, that means that maybe your server isn't uh, running correct PHP version, or uh, maybe you ha have some corrupted files from uploading it via FTP. Um, but if you have green lights, all you gotta do is press the install button. And it's gonna spin. It's gonna finish the install process for us. And it's done so. It's just giving us a summary. We're gonna press next and we're gonna log in, make sure that the checkbox is checked to delete the setup directory so no one nobody can try to reset up your um, your site. Then we're gonna be redirected to our login, our manager login. We're gonna put in our credentials and check out our new site, uh, our new ModX Revolution site up and running. And there it is. Welcome to ModX. Uh, I hope that helps. Just a real short, easy, quick one on how to install Modix and get it running. Aloha.